So here's the Hello World file that we made previously into Kingter, and if we run it, here's what we get. We get this little bitty box here, and it's labeled TK, and it says Hello World. What if we want to customize this? So we're going to go over just some of the different things that we can put in here that will allow us to change maybe how this is displaying. And as we do this, you're going to start to get used to some of the ways that Tikinter works, which will help as we get into more interesting things like buttons and menus and stuff like that. So let me just rerun this real fast. So when it first pops up, we can't see it. But if we make it bigger, we have this title here. Maybe we don't want it to be called TK. So how do we change that? What that is, is that's the title of the My Window. My Window is our object. And we're starting to get a little bit into object-oriented programming, which we haven't really talked about yet, but that'll be okay. So my window, the object, dot title, so we're modifying the title attribute. And then parentheses, we can put in a string that we want it to say there. So this could be like greeting or TK greeting program or whatever. And so now if we run this, we still can't see it, but if we make this bigger, there we go, TK greeting program. And it said TK before, but the only reason it still says TK is because I added it in here. If I delete this and I run it again, just greeting program. The TK isn't there by default, it's only there because I put it back in. Now, Hello World looks a little bland here, so what if we want to do some differences with that too? Maybe, maybe we don't want the bright white background, maybe we want a different background behind it. So we can change the background color of our Tikinter program, and we do that once again by changing one of the attributes of the My Window object. And of course it's only My Window because that's what I've named it. A lot of times you'll see this called Roots in a lot of other tutorials, and that's fine. It can be called whatever you want. It could be called Root, it could be My Window, it could be Snakes, it could be Kittens, it could be whatever you want as long as you're consistent. If I change this, none of these match up to it anymore, so I would have to change all the rest. So as long as you're consistent, it doesn't matter. So I'll just change this back to what I've been using. We once again refer to the My Window object, and we put in Configure, and inside of parentheses we can define the background as whatever color, so maybe yellow. And if we run this now, it looks like it didn't work. But if we make it bigger, actually it did work. Your Tikinter program has its own background, but then each label has a background as well. So you might say, well, how do we make this background transparent so we can see the yellow behind it? And you actually can't. You can't with this type of widget. There are other widgets that we'll get into later that can support transparency, but this one does not. So to make the yellow behind hello world as well we need to add in another attribute so so in our label object after the text we can add a comma and we can add in bg for backgrounds and we can write yellow and now if we run it now it's yellow and we don't have to use the names of colors if we want to really have some very precise control over the color we can use hex codes as well so if I want a yellow shade, that's going to be high in red and green and low in blue, so perhaps FF, FF, and I want sort of a pale yellow, so maybe like AA for the blue value. And if I run that, there we go, so we have a nice pale yellow. However, if I make this larger, I didn't change the original background color, so you have this, this difference here. Now I can change this as well, maybe I don't like the way this is looking. Inside of the same object, we can also define the font. So I could say that maybe I want this to be written in times. I think by default it's using, what, Helvetica? There we go. So now it's written in times. It's a little bit small. Maybe we want to change the size. So I could say that I want this to be written at size 16. There we go. So it's a bit bigger. And... Maybe I want it to be bold. If I don't want to change the default fonts, but I do want to change the size and the weight, 
I can, instead of writing times, I could just write none, and that should leave the default font, but still allow me to change the size and the weighting. There we go. And I can add other attributes in here as well. Instead of bold, I could add underline. Or if I want multiples, I can just list multiples, so italic and underline. Two more things before we finish up this video. If I want to change the font color, I don't do like color or font. We actually refer to the font color in these labels as the foreground color. So FG equals, make sure you put a comma after this attribute. And let's say that we want the font color to be blue. So if we run this, you can see it's blue now. And you can also see in this example that you can mix and match. You could use a hex code for one, and you could use the name of a color for the other one. And of course, we could already see that by having yellow here and this here, but you can do it as well within these same objects. The very last thing, if we don't like how it's just showing this window really small up here, like each time I keep making it larger, we could instead do that in our program. So the reason why it's loading so small is because we haven't really told it to load differently. If instead we add down here my window dot geometry, we can set the size that it's going to load. So inside of parentheses, inside of quotes, we can give it the pixel dimension. So let's say that I want to load 300 by 200 and I can even tell it where to load on the screen. So maybe I want it to load 200 on the x-axis and at 250 on the y. So now if I run this, it should change where and the size that it's loading. Perfect. So you can play with some of those things, start to get used to how adding in some of these attributes work, and try things out.